All right, time now to turn back to meteorologist Cedric Haynes in Studio B for a check of our forecast on this hump day. <laughs> Cedric. Yes, good afternoon, Latrice. By the way, loving the dress today. Very it's, summer and spring it's light. summer, yes, exactly, with these warm temperatures out here. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'll tell you what, and it matches today's forecast quite well with a mixture of sun and clouds. It's going to be heating up out there, folks, and we're already experiencing that. 83 degrees in Chattanooga, 81 in Cleveland and Dayton. We've got 77 in Murphy, 82 in Calhoun. Good afternoon to our friends in Fort Payne sitting at 80 degrees, 76 currently up along the plateau. We've got a mixture of sun and clouds out there, a couple of fair weather cumulus clouds, really the same old song and dance we've seen the past couple of days out there. We'll see a mixture of those clouds and sun, but this big bubble of warm air continues to block our next storm system. So for now, we're just stuck in the warm, sultry air, but eventually, and you're already probably noticing it, that front is getting closer and closer each day and will start to impact our weather. Now we're already seeing a lot of scattered showers and storms out towards our west, severe weather weather ongoing this afternoon from Oklahoma back into Arkansas and then notice we've got even a couple of pop-up storms just north of Nashville over towards Lexington Kentucky as well now the activity will mainly stay to our north today but this front continues to ooze closer and closer so over the next 24 hours we're gonna have to start to watch out for some impacts from the system so the far as severe weather goes today again that's gonna stay off to our west but just barely friends in Nashville back towards Memphis over towards uh, portions of uh, northern Mississippi Mississippi, look at that. They're under a level two out of five risk of severe weather for us today. And notice back towards the Arklatex region, they're under a level three enhanced risk. Now, again, the main energy with that front is going to stay just far enough to our west today that we're not going to be concerned about many impacts from that system for today. But as we go into tonight and the Thursday, we'll start to have to pay attention because as that energy lifts by to the north, that front will ooze a little closer. Now, while the most widespread severe weather will still be off to our west, there is going to be a low end chance that we can see a strong storm or two here in the Tennessee Valley. In fact, parts of the area, let's say basically really in the entire area, even though uh, Scottsboro and Calhoun is not technically shaded in this, you're under that level one risk. So what does that mean? That just means that a storm or two could get feisty in the afternoon, producing some damaging winds, some heavy rainfall, and maybe some uh, hail out there as well. So we'll be watching it closely. Let's talk about the timing of it with Futurecast. Southerly winds creating a few of those fair weather clouds this afternoon, but again, also some sunshine, and we will stay primarily dry here in the Tennessee Valley today. Now, so going to tonight, we could see a couple of weakening of those showers and storms off to our north and west, passing by places like Dayton, Athens, Cleveland could get a couple of rain showers this evening. And then overnight, all of us could see a sprinkle or a spotty shower as a couple of passing uh, showers try to move through the area. But notice as we get towards lunchtime tomorrow, we'll start to watch out in the higher elevations first for a few of those pop-up showers and storms. And more of those could include the entire Tennessee Valley as we get late in the afternoon. So Thursday, 3, 4, 5 o'clock, that's when I think we'll start to see a little better chance of some of these showers and storms popping up. And again, one or two of these could produce some gusty winds, so we'll watch it closely. It's the beginning of a fairly active of what we would call a wet pattern. But again, even though we've got rain chances each and every day, including for our Memorial Day, it's not going to be a washout. Yes, you should have a plan B just in case those scattered storms try to move overhead, but it's also not going to be a washout. But uh, we'll definitely be dodging some rain drops, I think, as we go throughout the rest of your holiday weekend. And it could add up to about one to two inches of rain, I think, in total across most of the area. Let me show you a storm alert seven day forecast because 88 degrees today, warm and humid, just a slight chance of a shower north and west, mainly tonight but there you see it latrice better chances of scattered showers and storms in the days to come including for the memorial day weekend and uh yeah not a washout but expect to dodge some raindrops